All right, so here we are at the lower unit. Um, on the 175 Optimax, all, basically all we're going to do is there's two flathead screws, one here, one here. They're the drain screws there. Um, the only thing we need to get the job done is obviously the gear loop itself. This is what I'll be using today. The Quicksilver brand. There's a couple brands out there. This is 10 bucks at your local Walmart. Um, can't really beat it. And then the only thing you'll need is a lower unit pump to refill. And then some drain screw seals by Quicksilver. I got the pump and the seals off of Amazon. And again, I got the gear loop um, at my local Walmart for 10 bucks. So, And then, of course, you need your, your flathead screwdriver. Try to get a fat bit, a pretty good-sized bit, because these screws, the grooves in them, uh, the flatheads, they're, they're pretty uh, pretty good size. So all we're going to do is remove the two screws, and the oil is going to, I'm sorry, the gear lube is going to drain into the, the pan here. This is a big pan. There's obviously not going to be that much coming out of this. Um, but this is the only pan I have. This is what I use to change the oil in my vehicle. So I just pop that underneath there. So let's get the, the screws undone. Actually, let's start down here. So again. Just going to remove both screws. And you do want to take both off because they, as you can see, um, hopefully you can see that, that yellow gasket, um, you're going to want to replace the gaskets on both screws. So, all right, so I'm just going to pop that in there for right now, let that fully drain. And as soon as it's done draining, I'll show you how to hook the, the pump up to the bottle, self-explanatory, but I will show you it and then we'll, we'll get it refilled up. All right. All right, guys, as you can see, it's basically done draining here. Um, so we got the, the two screws cleaned up. And the new washers, or the new seal, seals on both of them, you can see them. The old ones were yellow, these ones are blue, either one is okay. So we're going to hook up the pump, and to do that, while I'm getting this unpackaged, my uh, Maniac, my Maniac Mini-Me would like to say hello. Hello! <laughs> That's what I deal with on a daily basis. So in the package with the pump, you're going to have obviously the pump and then the extension that's going to go down into the bottle here. So all you're going to do is you're going to take the extension, pop it into the bottom of the pump there, make sure it's in there nice and tight, and then self-explanatory, you're just going to set this down in the bottle, screw it on like so. Again, just make sure it's nice and tight, nice and, nice and sealed up there. So then you're going to take this end, the yellow end, you can see it's threaded. So we're just going to screw it into the bottom hole. Like so. The old gear lube that was dripping down there. Is that even water or is that just the bottom of the bin? It's gear lube, buddy. Alright, so once you're hooked once you're hooked up, you're just gonna start pumping the new gear lube into the lower unit. And you're gonna do this until you see it come out the top hole. So and it does take a few minutes to drain, guys, just so you know. So once you remove those two, you know, get something else to do or just sit around and stare at it for a few minutes. But it does take a good, you know, five to ten minutes um, for that to empty out on this 175. So we're just going to keep pumping. And usually this 175, one, one uh, 32 ounce um, bottle here should do it. So I'm going to do this until I see it come out of the top hole. I'm not going to video the whole thing, but that's all I'm going to do until we see it come out that top. So I'll pick back up in a second. Okay guys, you can see it's starting to come out that top hole there. I'm just going to give it another pump or two so you can kind of see it coming out that top. Once you see that, you're just going to put the top screw in. And again, just make sure you have that seal on there. And 
you don't have to get crazy, but you want to make sure it's good and tight in there. All right. And now this is the this is the part you have to be a little bit quick on. Um, I mean, you don't have to panic over it, but as you unscrew this, you want to get the bottom one in there pretty quick before too much drains out. So. So again, you're gonna lose a little bit, but don't panic. As long as you get it in there relatively quickly, you're good. So, and again, just tighten that one down. Grab your, grab your rag, paper towels, whatever you're using. Just wipe everything off. Make sure it all looks good. Make sure you don't see anything leaking. And you're good to go, guys. So that's pretty much all there is to changing the um, the gear lube for a lower unit on a 2018 Mercury Optimax Pro XS. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, anything um, you want to see, feel free to leave it below. And um, stay tuned for, for many more fishing videos coming up. Again, I have that new Lowrance Ghost coming. It's going to be here Wednesday. And I'm pretty excited about that. So, all right, guys, thanks again. Uh, thanks for watching, as always. And if you have any questions, let me know.